Today, more legal wrangling and preparation for a high-profile murder case in Pasco County as the trial of Christopher, uh, excuse me, Curtis Reeves Jr. lurches forward in Dade City. Our Bill Logan has been following this case since Reeves fatally shot Chad Olson at the Cobb's Grove 16 Theaters in Wesley Chapel back in January. He joins us now from Pasco Courthouse with details on today's proceedings. Bill. And Dan, I can tell you right now that, uh, like you mentioned, this trial is just lurching forward. A very ponderous pace here as both defense and prosecution uh, look toward a spring 2015 trial date. They were all back in the courtroom this morning with both sides taking great care to present their wish list items to Judge Pat Siracusa. The defendant was not in the courtroom today as his legal team was granted two motions. One, to allow access to the Cobb theaters for fact-finding, measurements, and perhaps photography. And two, to get a list of specific equipment and furnishings of the venue in preparation for a recreation of the shooting for jurors. There's always a possibility of reenactment, and, you know, I'm, I was quite surprised. It sounds like the prosecution doesn't want us to reenact this, uh, this whole process. And so um, I was taken back by that, to be perfectly honest with you, because we both should be in search of the truth. And if that reenactment is going to search and, and find the truth for us, uh, we need to do it. We're joined now with our legal analyst, Jeff Schwartz, and another delay today. It's going to be a long trial. We knew that, but a little bit longer now. They're actually even talking about delaying the March trial date that they have already set. The judge has already, although he initially said that he wasn't really in favor of putting it out to April, I think he's already in an April mode. What do you think of the strategies at this point? Are you picking anything up from the defense and prosecution? The only thing I'm picking up is that clearly the prosecution's very concerned about recreations and reenactments. They want to make sure they're accurate. They want to be part of those reenactments, and I just don't think that there's any way that they're going to be allowed to do that. They're just going to have to deal with the results of them. And we're going to have to deal with an ever-expanding timeline. Another pretrial conference that was scheduled for next week has now been pushed off till next month and it's looking more and more like Jeff mentioned that this trial won't start until April maybe even later we're live in Dade City this noon Bill Logan ABC Action News